I have lived in Germany since 2019, and during those four years, my number one life goal is graduating from the university. And finally, I did it! Just two times longer than it's supposed to be, but I did it. Funny enough, now that I graduated, I don't know what to do with my life. But anyway, I'm not gonna sit here for 15 minutes telling you how confused I am. If you want to see, you can just skip until the last five minutes of the video, I guess. Let's start the video with something more informative, uplifting, and exciting. Maybe you want to study in Germany one day, or maybe you're just wondering, how does it feel like studying in Germany? So this video gonna answer that. I made a video in the past telling the story of how I met my German boyfriend in Vietnam and how we did our three years long distance Vietnam Germany. So if you haven't checked it out, you can watch it here or in the link in the description below. After two years of long distance and a lot of heated argument about who should go to which country to live, we decided that I should go to Germany and study there and live with my boyfriend. To be honest with you, when we made that plan, I didn't think that it's gonna work because I was not very good at studying. <laughs> In a scale of 6 to 1, with 6 is the lowest and 1 is the highest, that's the German grading system, my grade was around 2.58 or something like that. And in Germany, if you want to get into a master degree program, mostly you need to have a 2.5 GPA. Therefore, I couldn't apply to most of the university because I was underqualified. <laughs> that was a life lesson that I learned the hard way. If you want to study master degree after your bachelor degree, especially studying abroad or studying in Germany, focus on your GPA. Get the highest GPA as possible. You cannot change it anymore once you graduate. You can improve your language score, you can improve your GMAT, you can improve your work experience, but you cannot change your GPA anymore. So yeah, at that time when I learned that information, I wish I could just go back in time and punch myself in the face. And that was the reason why, although I was searching for university to apply and everything, I really didn't think it's gonna work. So we also talk about, should we just get married immediately? And then I could go there with a spouse visa. Honestly, if I could go back in time, I'll do it. I'll just marry him immediately. <laughs> because now I'm getting married to him anyway. So I'm wasting three years of nothing. If we got married in 2019, I could have a permanent residence in Germany already. <sighs> But at that time, I was like, oh, I love you, but I have never lived with you more than a month together. So I just want to make sure that he's an okay roommate first. So with my humble GPA, there were very few schools that even let me apply. And at the end, I only had one option. There were this tiny hostula, it's Applied Science University over here. And they let you apply if your GPA is higher than 2.59. So the GPA, it works for me. I literally had the minimum to apply. Now let's move on to other requirements. First, I need to get an APS. An APS is an examination to check if your degree is legit. I had to send over all of my documents from the university. I also need to have an oral exam with some German professors. I still cannot believe that I pass. <laughs> Next, I need to get a score that is higher than 7 in IELTS. IELTS is like an exam to test your English skills. That was a really hard time. I went to work in the daytime and I went to class in the evening and it took me like six months until I could take the exam and get the required grade. I didn't know how, but I made it. I even got a 7.5, not a 7. Nice. The thing is, since I'm very spontaneous, I didn't plan to study in Germany years in advance. So there were just a very few period of time for me to get all of the documents and fulfill all of the requirements and things like that. But I did it. I sent everything over and then I pray. Honestly, I had almost no hope at that time, like 5% maybe. I still remember the day when I received the result that they would take me in. I was in complete shock. And none of my family members even knew any of this. They didn't even know that I have a boyfriend, a German boyfriend, let alone that I'm applying for a university in Germany. So I had a month to gather 10,000 euros, break the news to my family members and say goodbye to them, apply for the visa and prepare to fly to Germany. And the university started in a week. So... <laughs> It was truly hectic, 
And I think the most stressful part was the money because I didn't have $10,000. I didn't want to burden my family since moving there was just me and my boyfriend decision. Luckily, German boyfriend and his family jumped in for help very quickly, although they were not rich at all and they didn't even meet me yet. But they all helped out and that's how we were successfully gathering that much money in a short period of time. <music> Studying in Germany requires a lot of self-discipline. Although you have guidelines from the university, you basically have no one to be there to guide you through everything. You have to figure it out mostly by yourself. Everything is mostly up to you. How long do you want to study? What courses do you want to take? When do you do the internship? When should you write a thesis? Second of all, doing master in Germany is a blessing compared to bachelor. Oh my gosh. When I came here and I talked to bachelor student, uh, it was so tough over there. They kick student out left and right super easily. But in the master program that I was in, most of us graduated. In terms of making friends, it's difficult to make German friends here. It's true. They always have their own circle of friends and they know them since they were a baby or something and it's very hard to get in. But Making international friends is not difficult at all. They are so broke and lonely, so we stick together. Since I study here, I have met classmates from all over the world. I have learned a lot about their culture, their lifestyle, try a lot of their food too. And if you also study in Germany, please make friends. Because once you graduate and you start to work, it is going to be a lonely world. It's not that easy to make friends anymore. One of the favorite things that I love about being a student in Germany is that we have a lot of student benefits. Like we have cheap public transport tickets. We have affordable insurance. I paid a hundred euros per month for insurance when I was a student. Not anymore. Whenever we go to a museum, we have this cow. We have yummy cheap canteen food. I love the food there so, so much. <laughs> Before coming here, I really thought that it's gonna be so, 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 so hard to pass the exam or to study here. I'm very grateful that my university was not very hard on academic stuff. They were not drowning us with like reading thousands of books or writing thousands of essays. They mostly want the student to have real life experience, internship, doing case study and something practical like that. So it was not that hard for me to pass because I'm not that good at writing something academic. But I'm pretty okay when it comes to like case study or something more practical. It's actually fun that like the way the professor talks in class, they were really friendly. They explain things which is easy to understand. It just way better than what I expected. Also, I was very hesitant to write a thesis because my English in writing is definitely not good. And I even documented it on my YouTube channel with some of the shots. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I was so stressed out all the time. And it was like that for months until I finished it. I never want to study ever again. So in conclusion, I wrote my thesis, I graduated, and I graduated with a good score. My Vietnamese parents must be so, so proud. <laughs> the thing is, during the last four years, every day I wake up and I know that I have one goal. I need to graduate, so I have a purpose in life to fulfill. Now that I fulfilled that purpose, I'm just a bit scared and I don't know what to do next. Should I apply for a job? Should I do social media full time? Should I go to Vietnam to be with my family for a while? Should I open a business? Should I have a Vietnamese restaurant? The thing is, this is not a complaint because I know that I'm in a way better situation than a lot of people I know. I have a German partner to support me no matter what. I have social media as a job and I generate income from it so I don't need to find another job to pay my bill at the moment. I even have an apartment in Germany already, rented, but still I have a place to live already. A lot of people I know now, now that they have to move out of the dorms, they are struggling to find places to live. So yeah, I'm definitely not complaining. I just want to share with you guys what's happening lately. I'm just a bit confused. And I guess this is normal. Once you close a big chapter in your life, you just need time to figure out what to do next. At the moment, I have decided to try to do social media full time because I really enjoy doing this. This is the only job that I have ever feel that much passion in me. Also, I'm learning German and I'm also joining dancing class. So it is exciting. 
I'll see how it goes and I'll keep you updated. Anyway, enough to chat for today. Thank you so, so much for sitting down and listening to me talking like this. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.